When I was younger, I always dreamed about having a little sister. We would share a bedroom, we would share clothes and books and tell stories and have adventures together. And she would be as dear to me as my brothers are. I'm so proud and pleased to call Emily my sister now. I loved Emily from the moment I met her. And of course, Jonathan had to copy me. <laughs> We're too young to talk about forever. Talk about the weather to know any better. Jonathan asked for Emily's hand in marriage to me. He asked my permission. Can you believe that? This is the year 2014. As soon as he asked me the question, you know, I got out my iPhone, I, I went to Google. You know, what does a mechanical engineer PhD make? I got the answer, and I said, welcome to the family, Jonathan. He's been there for me for some of my most embarrassing moments, which I will not repeat here, and saddest moments, and you literally said the only words that could have made me feel better, which I didn't even think was possible at those times. But even when times get rough, our shared sense of humor can get us through anything. Because, as we've already experienced, we can turn a cry into a laugh in seconds. Cause we don't want to grow up. my life worth living. Without you, I am as Harry is without his wand, incomplete, except in the movie. Four and a half years ago, I was a completely different person. Thank you for helping me grow so much. You've changed me on a fundamental level, and in so doing, you've made me immeasurably better. I'm sorry that I'm on time less than you'd love, but irregardless, <laughs> our love is timeless, for you are my everything. Cause we don't want to grow up Emily, ever since we first met you, we knew you were a keeper. You were beautiful both inside and out. You're kind, smart, very thoughtful. And most importantly, you make my brother smile and laugh in a way that I could only achieve via torturous tickle. <laughs> and I know you will make a wonderful addition to our family. Uh, although I know that it comes at a uh, great sacrifice to you, you're having to give up your beloved and cherished last name, Sneedizzle. <laughs> Before I met you, I thought I was a Samantha, that I wanted to elope in Vegas, that I wouldn't cry on my wedding day. That was before I met a man who was worthy of my devotion, whom I was proud and excited to commit to in front of my family and friends, and whose loving hands would wipe away the tears that only come from complete and ecstatic euphoria. Jonathan Brooks, you're my favorite person. <laughs> we don't want to grow up. My prayer to the two of you is that God grant you the foolishness to believe that you can change the world. And I love you both. God bless. Good luck. Now I tell you how much they love each other, but I don't have to because you can just look into their faces and see it for yourself. I wish you both the best of everything as life ushers you into the next phase of your journey. And I can think of no better companion for my brother, Jonathan, than my sister, Emily. <laughs> Married couple. Thanks. Thanks.